Hey guys, what's up? It's Angel Vicious. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you my entire Harry Potter sleeve. So I guess I'm going to start with the tattoos I got first on this arm before I decided to do the Harry Potter sleeve. Up here I have my triquatra symbol. Basically means the power of three. It's in a lot of Celtic mythology, uh, also called the Celtic knot. And I got these little roses around it. And it was just this piece right here and then the roses on each side. Then I got this tattoo done, the one on my hand. Basically, it's just a skull and a rose. So I love it. I love skulls so much, and I thought this was just amazing. And it was actually drawn up for me. So beautiful. Okay, so then the Harry Potter sleeve started. If you guys have stayed with me since my Tattoo Tuesday videos, then you're going to kind of know what's going on with the sleeve. And I just never got to finish talking about it or making the video about the entire thing when it was finished. Now, of course, I'm going to connect all of this together and eventually, you know, get my neck done too. You know, I've, I've got one tattoo on my neck, but... I really want to get one here, and then I want to get one here. I'm thinking something from The Witcher. I love The Witcher, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. It is my favorite game of all time. Um, I love video games, and that one has so much like in-depth meaning behind it. Go Google, I think it's called uh, Mental Illness Shared in The Witcher or something like that. It's an article on Google, you can go and find it. But that's a different video. We're just gonna talk about this sleeve today. Then after I got all that done, and I've had my always tattoo there, that has been there forever and it is so faded away. No one can really tell what it says unless you're really looking for it. But it does say always and I've gotten it touched up three times, but just so you guys know, palm tattoos do not stay. I mean, you're constantly washing your hands. In all honesty, hand tattoos don't really stay that much. I've gotten lucky with mine that they haven't faded a intense amount. They do fade at least a little bit easier than regular tattoos. After that, I got happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. And I got the Deathly Hollow symbol, which is the invisibility cloak, the resurrection stone, and the elder one. And that was, I didn't know exactly if I was going to keep going with that. I was actually thinking of just getting a bunch of quotes, but this turned out so much better. My tattoo artist is so creative, Will Hunter. Go check him out. He basically designed the whole thing. But what was cool about it is this part right here, if you can see, it's like they're on the boats going to Hogwarts. And then it leads up into the castle which goes all the way up here. And then because at the end of the last Harry Potter movie, when he faces Voldemort, it's nothing but dark in the sky. So it's kind of like, like that up here connected to the castle. But what's funny about it is what I was going to say. The movie, if you get the eight disc collection, it literally looks just like this. I mean, I'm on webcam, so this <laughs> might not be the easiest thing to see, but where they're going to Hogwarts on the boat, and then the castle's up here. It almost looks identical to it, and it was hand-drawn, and no one even thought about that, but it was really, really cool, and um, yeah, that just kind of happened. It, I love it so much. So then we've got the Death Eater symbol. So if you could be in any of the houses, what would you be in? Because I would pick Slytherin. Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Gryffindor. I was never a fan of Gryffindor, but, but yeah, I would definitely pick Slytherin. Then we've got over here, the snitch. Right here. And above that is the sorting hat. 
that's one of my favorites. Another idea that he came up with that I would have forgot all about and not have gotten. And then, like I said, I'd pick Slytherin. <laughs> I have the Slytherin crest right here that finishes my sleeve. Oh, I love it. You know, it's so funny because it doesn't look that big in person. But on webcam, it looks pretty huge. That's awesome. Okay, let me look and make sure I didn't forget anything. Because <laughs> I've done that. No, I think that is just about it for this sleeve. And then the rest was kind of just shaded in to make it a darker, full sleeve. I love both of my sleeves. I could not pick a favorite, but I love Harry Potter, so if you made me choose one, I'd probably pick this one. I'll do a video about this one sometime coming up soon. This one was done completely by Koi Irby, and this one was done completely by Will Hunter. My chest piece was done by Koi also, but um... Like I said, I'll just keep um, making these videos and keeping it interesting for you guys. Just learning a little about, bit about each of my tattoos or, you know, and what they mean and um, why I got them and why they mean so much to me. I am a diehard Harry Potter fan, so now you know a little bit of the geek side of me and all about my sleep. So, yeah, it was really fun sharing this with you guys. Something that means a lot to me. Some One of the favorite things I've ever gotten in my entire life is definitely my tattoos. So I could talk about them all day. All day long. Like when someone stops me to say I like your tattoo or something. I literally, I forget. Oh, I've got five minutes to go somewhere. I will stand there and I will talk to you about tattoos all day. All day. Piercings too. But, you know, I've, I've got to say I love my tattoos a little more. I love my piercings too, but ink is just, it's so beautiful and it's so creative and it's just always one of a kind, you know? I mean, unless you go and copy someone else's tattoo, but who who does that anymore? This is 2019. <laughs> Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. Turn on the bell for notifications so you can know every time I upload. And don't forget to check out myonlyfans.com slash angelvicious. If you missed out on the sale, don't worry. There will be one for Easter as well for $15. In the meantime, if you'd like to join, it is only $25 per month and you can cancel it at any time. You don't have to keep doing a recurring subscription. You can if you'd like, but you don't have to. All right, guys. I love you so much. Hope you're having a great night, great day, whatever it is, wherever you're at in this big ass world, and I'll see you next time. All right, guys. Bye. Oh, oh, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Okay. The giveaway. The giveaways. So I already did my March giveaways, but I am going to pick three winners for April because you guys have been just supporting me so much. I feel like I can financially, comfortably, comfortably do this. Wow, I can't talk. Um, <laughs> I'm going to send out three packages to three different people in April. This time I'm not going by gender because I'm going to be putting everyone's name in a jar and drawing from that for my giveaway next month. And um, don't forget to put your information. Um, you can send it to me in an email. Um, I prefer, honestly, to use Postable. So if you want to give me your address, uh, and a contact number or email so I can let you know that you've won and to go watch that video. Um, just put your stuff at postable.com slash Angel and I'll have all your information. It's like super safe. It's basically just what I use as a mailing list and it's just a big address book. And then I also put your address into my address books. So I've got a lot of addresses, but it's, it's pretty cool. So I love you guys so much, and um, if you want a chance to win, don't forget to put your address in Postable, or if you really don't want to, then you can just send it to me in, in email. That's cool, too. Don't forget to include your entire address as well. A couple of people have sent me their addresses, but without stating their zip code or their country, 
and without your zip code or country, I can probably find out the country, but without your zip code, I'm not able to send anything to you because it's, it's not going to get to you. So anyways, that's again, postable.com slash Angel Mendez. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm going to have so many names in this jar, but it's, it's going to be the most fair way I can pick because I love all of you so much. And it, I was going off of how much you guys blow up my notifications, but you know, there are some of you that don't get online as much that cared just as much about me as everyone else does. So anyways, I love you for that. You are the best. I appreciate everyone so much. Can we talk about the fact that I'm at 40,000 subscribers? I swear to God, guys, three weeks ago, I was at 17,000 subscribers. I don't know what the fuck happened, but you guys rock. <laughs> and I'm so stoked that you like my videos enough to keep watching me to subscribe, to comment more videos. It's just, it's sick, man. And, um... I just can't wait to, you know, just have this journey with you guys, do some meet and greets, meet you guys, you know? All right, this time I'm going to go now. <laughs> Bye.